what happened at the NAACP convention. I can't think of a better place than the Apollo to openly speak my views without the threat of being booed by black people. <laughs> All right, there, buddy. I get irony. <laughs> I have to admit, I really thought I was grooving there for a minute at the NAACP. Uh, let me remind you, I was booed for saying that I would repeal Obamacare. I was not booed because I lack an understanding of you and your peeps. <laughs> it's important to notice that uh, I have a great admiration for black culture and your bold, bold culture. Um, some of the greatest sporting legends are of Afro-American descent. Baseball players like Jose Reyes and David Ortiz. Oh. Not to do that. Uh, some of the legends of screen, uh, actors, Afro-Americans. Alfonso Ribeiro. <laughs> Mario Lopez and Michael Ian Black. <laughs> do, you, do, 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 do you boo and you like something or what? Let's not forget the music. What a glorious music your people have. It's some of the Afro-American greats that always have my feet a tapping. Whether it's the musical stylings of Harry Belafonte or the rap of uh, Harry Belafonte. <laughs> no, I sing a song. Uh, I'll, I'll try one of my favorites. Um, oh, beautiful for spacious sky, or amber waves of gray. Rabbit! Rabbit! <laughs> oh, oh, all right, I'll do uh, Purple Mountain Majesties above the fruit of the plains. Okay, America, America, God shed his grace on thee. And crown thy good with brother, above thee thy sea to shine the sea. America, America. What do you go? Go! I love blacks! I love blacks! <laughs> state of Colorado, especially after the incident at the Apollo. <laughs> Man, is it good to be here among people who share my same values. I love everything about Colorado. All my favorite things are here. Cars, lakes, zero percent membership in the NAACP, and boy, do you all have some great forest fires here. Man, I love a good forest fire. Remember when you were a kid and you couldn't wait to just run home after school on those crisp fall days and Start a little forest fire behind your house. Oh, I love hijinks like that. I do. Oh, I can smell the burning pie, the burning elm. Don't you love the way a big old ancient elm smells that burns to ash? Oh, man. I can smell the burning of maybe 200, 300 homes in Colorado. Rebuilding those homes means jobs for Colorado. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, now, I know you think talk is cheap, uh, but as your president, I plan on keeping these fires going, Colorado. Do <laughs> you think Barack Obama will do that? Not without raising your taxes, he won't. Uh, no, talk is cheap, and so I plan to put my money where my mouth is and show you how much I love fires, okay? Here we go. <laughs> Weird, it worked so well in Colorado Springs last week when I set all those forest fires. Don't boo, don't boo yet, don't boo, don't boo, please. Don't, don't boo yet. Okay. Uh, listen, I'm, I'm not here to talk about things that are controversial anymore, like forest fires or black people. I just want to talk about something easy, something we can all relate to that's fun and good for everyone, you know what I mean? Something like, uh, sandwiches. <laughs> Great. So sandwiches have long been a part of my life. Uh, whether it was the mushy peanut and translucent fruit spread sandwiches of my youth, or the more mature uh, cheese and steak sandwiches that I recently had in the capital of Pennsylvania. Uh, which is Harrisburg. Uh, like you all, 
<laughs> I love my sandwiches filled with dead animal flesh and coagulated milk. I love to use yellow mustard paste to make things slide better in my mouth. I love wet and slimy sandwiches that are filled with butter and chicken and hard-boiled eggs and baby shrimp and banana meat. <laughs> Unlike our failed president, I put my money where my mouth is. So I've now designed a line of sandwiches of my own, one of which I will now eat for you all. <laughs> hey, looking at this fish reminds me of Usher's stepson. <laughs>